Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I said we all must huh. go. Before we get started, you know, I got I to gotta give out my little, I want to call it my inspiration. Inspiration. Uh, yeah, I'll say I think I can go with the inspiration joint. This week was an amazing week. Okay, uh, a whole lot of stuff happened this week. I'm, I'm trying to pinpoint. I had, I had it on my mind earlier what I wanted to uh, share with y'all, and it kind of went away through all the other stuff I was doing before I got here tonight. Um, but I'll just say this right here. It's on and popping. It's on and popping. Power. That's right. August 16th, the all-white red carpet. Y'all hear me? Y'all see it? You can get your tickets from me tonight free. All you got to do is call that number, 240-719-5, I mean, 2560. Let me do it again. 240-719-2560. But you got to be the fifth caller. You got to be the fifth caller. I'm going to give you two tickets because I know you got to have somebody to go with you. 
If you're the fifth caller, you're getting these two free tickets. If you're the sixth caller, you ain't getting nothing. That's it. Simple as that. Now, after my break, if you don't get me before my break, after my break, I'm going to do it again, but it's going to be a different call on the numbers. All right? Okay. Now, let's move forward. Then we got that out the way. As you can see, I have a guest here tonight. Her name is Nicole. And Miss Nicole is going to share some things with you about her job what she's doing, how she's doing it, where they're going. And then I'll get into a lot of other things with her about the job. But what I want to do right now, I would like for you to introduce yourself to everyone and tell them your occupation. Hello, my name is Nicole, and I'm a special police officer. Okay, now, put up the handcuffs. <laughs> Tonight, Miss Nicole is not on her job. She's here because they have a team of special, I want to say special officers, that actually goes out and secures certain parties. Let me say that. Certain events. And I'm trying to get Miss Nicole and her co-workers to come out and do the power once again, party on August the 16th. But, Miss Nicole, let me ask you some questions first. How long has you? How long have you been on your job? I need my glasses. For a year and some change. A year and some change. So, will we call Miss Nicole a rookie? Huh? No. 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 For a year. So, what is your 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 rank on your job? I'm a sergeant. Oh, no, nah, she ain't, no, nah, she ain't no rookie. I'm a sergeant. And? <laughs> slash a major's assistant. I'm I'm the major's assistant. Okay, too. sergeant, major's assistant. See that? See how I was disrespecting her like that? I apologize deeply because I'm not trying to go to jail tonight. Okay? Oh, now. I do have my handcuffs in the car. Oh, Lord, hold up. Wait a minute. Stop the press. <laughs> Call in now. <laughs> Save me. Okay, so, so where you from? Um, I'm from here, meaning I'm from New York, and I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago. So my family is from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, so your birthrights come from Trinidad and Jamaica. And Tobago. I mean, I mean Tobago. Yes. And you? I was born in New York, yes. And, oh, okay. And what part of New York? Manhattan, New York. Manhattan. Ah, ah that, that hood joint? Ah, that's the rich <laughs> part, huh? That's where they got that money at. I was just up there. You know that, right? Yeah, I was just up there a couple of weeks ago. Went oh, up there to do some promotion. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to talk about that a little later. What made you uh, well, What made you want to come here, D.C.? Um, my dad, he used to live here, so Okay. I ended up coming here for some time, and I liked it, and I said, okay, I'm going to move to. So you came, like, on a visit, like, and, and kind of, like, not really on a visit, but yeah, I didn't, and I liked it. Okay. I said, okay, I'm going to move from New York to here. And how long you been here? <sighs> Since 2004. 2004. That's a long time. What's that, 14 years, 15? Yes. Yeah, yeah, long time. So you you here now. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. You like nowhere. it? Yeah, I love it. What you love about D.C.? Um, from where you come from now. From New York, because you know New, New York, York is, is quick. Different. New York is really quicker and faster than here, so oh, it's pretty good. I love so it. So you want to just slow down a bit? Yeah, slow down a bit. We ain't gonna have you slow down. We let's do it again, <laughs> man. We moving fast, okay? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about. Um, I want to say a little bit about your growing up. What made you like want to get into the police atmosphere? Um. Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I've been wanting to be in the police force. First, I wanted to be in the Army, but they said I was too short. So I said, okay, I'm going to take a next route. <laughs> so the police force, hmm. But I said I will do the, uh, you know, do the security. And I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's fun. 
What, what, what about the security part that you love, though? I mean, um, is it locking up everybody? Is no, it harassing people? No, because we, I don't do that. Because, see, we have those, those like, in, 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 in certain neighborhoods, they have those security guards now that actually be walking the beat all the time. Yes, that's but true. But they be harassing people, though. Oh, no. No, we're Seriously. not going to harass you. Yeah. If you not supposed to be loitering in front of your building or, or anywhere, and you know that's on your lease, of course, we have to tell you to move. Okay. That's okay. what we are there for. Right, right. You know, stop the loitering, stop the anything that's going on right. in the building. Well, well, right now, you know, in D.C., marijuana is illegal, so y'all can't be stopping nobody from smoking outside, can well, you? Well, he... I'm asking. Well, uh, I don't think so, but some people don't want to come home in front of their building smelling smoke. Right. Some people just right. want to be able to come home peacefully mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and walk inside their building okay. and okay. go in the house. And that makes sense because I remember, you know, back in the day when I was younger and I had kids and guys would be smoking in front of my uh, building and I came in, I used to chase them brothers away because my kids was in the house and we got the kitchen window open and the smells going, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I understand that. That right. makes sense. Right. But I just know that, like, I'm just sharing some stuff with you because I remember when I was uh, younger again and I was in a certain neighborhood and some things jumped off and some stuff happened and I rolled out. Right. But I came back. And when I came back, the little neighborhood security dudes, they came all over to my car, told my man, we know you did this, you did that. And I'm like, man, y'all ain't did nothing. Man, y'all ain't got no proof I did nothing. They called the police on me. Wow. Can they do that? Um... If they think you do something, mm, yes, but no. Well, they they showed that, but I ain't get locked up because, like I said, they ain't have no no nothing. proof. But my car was like wrong tags, wrong stickers. <laughs> oh no, you really want to go? Hey, I was living that life back then. <laughs> so they told my they told of my course. car. They, well, one thing you ain't gonna do is get death. You walking from here? I was like, hey, as long as I'm walking from here, I ain't riding from here. I ain't tripping. So, um, so if someone wants to um, get to you to, say, use your security company for uh, a major event, how can they contact you? Um, they could contact me or my chief mm -hmm. or my major. Okay. And um, I mean, but how? I mean, you got a, a website. You got a, a um, you know. Well, we have a website. Um, well, we got an email. Okay. Uh, it's smith663 at verizon.net. It's okay. called Next Level Security Services. Okay, can you say that to him one more time, please? It's smith663 at verizon.net, and the name of the company is called Next Level Security Services. Y'all see that? Next, Next Level Security System? Services. Services. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, this is not... If somebody beating you up, somebody broke in your house, this is not what they do. No. All right, this is not the, I call them the blue and white, Mark, um, the police department. Okay. This is a security service. Yes. Which, like I say, I think they can be useful at, if you're having certain events, at certain clubs, private events, and, and you think that you may need some security because, you know, people get to drink in a man, anything can happen. So you want to kind of protect your people, you know right. what I mean? It's, it, you can't be talking about, man, you got these hot niggas up here and all that, man, because trust me, if you throw events away and somebody get hurt, you could be held liable. That's true. So, and this is something that, you know, I'm learning because I'm, in, I'm into the business. So I'm most definitely... Looking forward to having Miss Nicole and her uh, fellow officers at this event once again, August the sixteenth, to be there just to make sure that things go smoothly, because sure. it's going to be off the chain. It's a all white red carpet event, so that means you have to dress in all white. Please don't pull up to the door with a purple shirt on and some white pants saying, I got on all white. All white means your top got to be white and your bottom got to be white. Pull the linen out. I know y'all got that linen. Pull the linen out, man. Look slick. 
you ladies, y'all dress nicely. You know how y'all do. But if you come to the door and you're not dressed properly, unfortunately, we're going to have to turn you back. And that goes for the people that may have tickets. Because you bought a ticket don't mean, oh, I can come in here with some jeans on. We ain't rolling like that. Geeking for success ain't rolling like that. Exactly. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a quick break and run my commercial, and we'll be back with Miss Nicole and security. <laughs> See you in a minute. Hey, what's up, what's up? That's right, it's me again, the one and only man. My name is Thomas Bartley. Go by AKA Tom Mo. Look, come and see me, man, on foxwave.com. We're talking every Wednesday from 9.30 to 10.30. You gotta be there. I got a lot to talk about. It's up to you. See you soon. Let's do it again, man. Come on down here, y'all. Each and every Thursday. I don't know when the next time, but uh, I know this Thursday we down at Tacoma Station. That's right. Let's do it again, man. Get here, man. That's right. We down here Thursday night with Pump Blenders. We got an all white coming up, man. We all need to come out here and do this with us, man. Hey, right. Tell a little bit about Tom O's show, man. Oh, yeah, Tom O's show is great. But if anything else, come and see me play keys. Forget okay. everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> y'all tune in to Box Wave. Box, every, yes. Every Wednesday night from 9.30 to 10.30. Box Wave, let's do it again, let's do it man. Again. Show. Man, right. matter of fact, don't forget, come and see Dave, too. Yeah, come see me. <laughs>
Blue with your host, the one and only Tom Bo. You see how I did that? Y'all got to learn that. Y'all got to learn that, right? Straight out of Washington, D.C., Southeast. We back with my guest, Miss Nicole from Next Level Security Services. Services. Now, you, you finish, then put live. Put live. We're trying to reach uh, one of her uh, distinguishes mm -hmm. to uh, let them watch the show. Send it. That's it. That's all it is. Now put, go to YouTube. Now, um, this Saturday, Let's Do It Again Band and show will be down at, um, hey, I was going to say Uniontown, man. They, and that joint is, they, that's a bank now. Mm -hmm. Having flashbacks, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Infuse, Bond Grill. Uh, that's located on Allentown Road. It's going to be Let's Do It Again Band and Show along with Vintage Band and Show. That's this Saturday from 9 until 1. So if you're not doing anything, man, y'all come on out there, man, to party. The last time we was there, I guess it was a couple of weeks ago, it was on the 6th. Man, we had a ball. I'm talking about we had a ball. And I even heard they was like, uh, one of the bartenders told one of the guys, Man, Vin, uh, let's do it again, band. They sound real good tonight. Like like the last time we was in there, we wasn't sounding good. So. <laughs> she was like, they sounding real good tonight. So don't miss out on that show, man. So let me let me take y'all to um, August because, you know, this, this month is going to be over. We're not doing anything else this month as far as I know at this point. Now, we're supposed to be traveling to West Virginia, supposed to be. It's not written in concrete yet. Uh, for a family and friends event in West Virginia on August the 4th. I'll be back. Will I be back before then? I don't know. I may not be back before then to let y'all know. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back on the 30th to let y'all know if it's concrete or not for West Virginia uh, on that Sunday for a family and friends that they're having down there. It'll be Let's Do It Again band along with a, a whole host of other bands that's going to be there. And then um, on the 3rd of August, we're going to be out Kenilworth. That's right. It's Kenilworth Day. That's on a Saturday. August the 3rd is going to be Let's Do It Again band with Vintage Band once again. And I, they got this, this another band. I'm not, I didn't really get the name, but it's going to be three bands that particular day. You already know they're going to have a lot of stuff out there for the kids. It's going to be food. I mean, it's just going to be a marvelous day. Hopefully, we don't get no rain. You know, y'all welcome. Just come on out and party. Because what we're doing is we give it back to the community because that's what Let's Do It Again Band does. Now, let me explain something to you all for, because I wanted to kind of be clear. Geeking for success. Geeking for success. Y'all already know how I am about geeking for success. Geeking for Success sponsors Let's Do It Again Band. So it's Geeking for Success, then Let's Do It Again Band, then We The Link One, then DC Empowerment. We got a whole massive team that we are working with uh, now. It's, it's just not Let's Do It Again Band no more. Man, we got a whole massive team, and we got a whole lot of people that's working with us, working for us. All you got to do is go on the uh, media, uh, go to Instagram, look up We The Link One. That's, that's one. Then look up Geeking For Success. That's two. Then look up Let's Do It Again Band underscore G4S. Those are the links to keep you tied in to what we're doing because we're doing a lot of outside events. Just this Saturday, we went down on 14th and K Street and fed the homeless. Our band actually actually performed. We didn't actually feed them ourselves. Our band performed for the event, but they was, they was feeding the homeless down there during that time, along with a whole host of other bands came behind us. Okay, so... 
was most important. Oh, also, let me let me hip y'all to this too. On the 17th of August, we will be doing a Ron, what is he what is he actually calling it, Ron? We we're gonna be doing an event for the owner of Box Wave. He doing something massive. He wanted let's do it again band to come along with a host of other bands. Uh he's gonna have a lot of talk show hosts is gonna be there, which be on the show. There you go right there. There we go. The cookout. Free food and live music. Let me see. Do you see let's do it again band on there? Cause if it's not, we can really take that off the screen right now. I'm looking real fast too. All I see is DJ Rick. Hey Rick, man, for real. You probably told him to block me, man. Back to school. Backpack drive. That's what it is. August 17th, starting at 4 o'clock. Ron, I don't see Let's Do It Again band up there. Is it, is it a typo? Okay, you know what it is? Where did I see it at? I think, I think he said... Okay, he, he just got live music. He just got live. He ain't want, I guess he ain't want to put all the names on there. But I still got a problem with that because any, any event that Let's Do It Again band is on, I want to be announced. I want people to know we there. We there. We on the mark. We ready. We partying with you. So I will be calling the owner after this show to make my complaints. Nothing personal, but I'm Let's Do It Again band, okay? Let's make it happen. But that's going to be something fun to do uh, on that particular Saturday. Hope we don't get no rain again. So as you can see, man, we, we really busy. We really busy. Um, and some more stuff on here that I won't discuss now I just because I want to sink in Power, Kenilworth, maybe West Virginia. Now, when we do the West Virginia joints, man, if y'all really interested, we got to get a bus. We got to get a bus. We're going to sell some tickets. That's going to be the accommodation for the bus trip up and down and for you to be able to get into the event. Now, this particular event is free. You don't have to pay nothing to get into the, for, for the bands and all that. Only thing you'll be paying for is your bus ride up there and your bus ride back. That's if we're going to do it. And I will let you know on the 30th when I come back next Wednesday to um, if we're going to do it or not. So that means if you are interested, you need to hit me on let's do it again band and no, let's do it again band at gmail.com. Right, yeah. To let me know that you're interested in going to the West Virginia uh, Family and Friends Day if we go. At least let me know because if I get enough hits saying that y'all want to go, then we'll get a bus to do it. Other than that, Let's do it again, band mate. Just roll on down there by ourselves, videotape it, bring it back, and share it with y'all once we get back. Kenilworth, free. All you got to do is be out there and be me, okay? What's this right here? Okay, now we're on Georgia Avenue on the 10th. That's that following Saturday after the Kenilworth uh, show. And I think we go on at 12 o'clock. What's the name of that park up there, uh, Ron? That on, on top of the hill. No, nah, not Michael Mack. On Georgia Avenue. All the way up. Uh, but there's a fly floating around on that. There's a fly floating around on um, on the gram. Nah, uh -uh. on the gram. So if you, you, you look and just go on uh, Instagram and you'll see it. Because I know I posted it up there somewhere. Well, not me per se, but the guy. That handles all our uh, posting. I know it's on there, but we and that's going to be uh, August the tenth, and everybody going to be on that show. Junkyard, Belladonna, man, they got everybody on that show. So you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So you know, y'all, y'all, you know, we'll meet y'all up there, man. I think, like I said, I think we're gonna kick off at twelve, and then after that, everybody else gonna go. After that show, Let's Do It Again Band also have another private event, birthday party uh, celebration that we're going to do. I can't reveal that to you all because it, it's private. But other than that, you're talking about the 16th, August the 16th, uh, Power Nightclub, all white, red carpet affair. 
comedy off the chain. If you miss it, you just won't laugh. That's all I can tell you. Now, I need another break real fast, Ron, before I can get my, my thoughts together for the ending of this show. Man, time show go fast. Is that because Miss Nicole sitting up here? Because last <laughs> week I was struggling. Oh, man, did y'all remember my drawing from last week? Did I? Hey, Ron, did you see it? Man, I drew this on the show because there was so much going on. I had to make sure I concentrate. I sit down and I sketch this same picture on another piece of paper, man. And I'm talking about, man, it looked it just like them. I should have made that creation. But I'll be right back in a minute, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. What we got coming, Ron? You got it. I'm here to tell you straight up about the music, the part you don't understand. We talk about, let's do it again, bang. And again, and again, and again. For your listening pleasures, to make sure we hit your fancy, so you can do your dance. Yeah, I'm the guitar player for this Do It Again group. And I love to just make people laugh. So just come on down in your time, your spare time. And I guarantee you, you won't be bad. You will, definitely will make you don't feel sad. When you hit those chords, and you be doing your little moves, you get your little dance together, and then it's all over. Peace. <laughs> Just twin with the last doing again band doing it with Big Mo and them tonight at the Tacoma Station. You know, we're gonna have a nice little little party, make it work for Mo and, and Let's Do It Again. So y'all come on out and come on here this funky sound that uh Let's Do It Again got with Mo and the boy. Twin, I'm out. Enjoy some good old school go-go. Grown and sexy style. We have a lot of people here, you know. And um, we, we do our thing, you know, what can I say? We have some hell of a singers, you know. We got Big big Dave over here, he can hold it down. Hey Dave, stop in for a minute. Say what's up, baby. 
We got Tom on the mic, doing the ones and twos too, cause he, he do his thing. Got a hell of a back line, and I mean, <laughs> we do what we gotta do, guys. Hey, Come out support, yeah. we here, we gonna enjoy it, and we hope that you enjoy it. Cause whatever we do, we gonna have fun doing it. You know what I mean? Let's do it again.
We are back once again. I was just sitting here, man, just ramming it off with Miss Nicole. Or should I call you Austin Nicole? Which which one would you prefer? Nicole. Okay, Miss Nicole. I'm not at work. Yeah, I was wait. Yep, yeah, you're not at work. <laughs> you most definitely right about that. I was actually sitting here explaining to Miss Nicole about the calendars and what geeking for success actually does. So let me just kind of bring it to your attention. First, though, let me, let me hit you with this one. My man Ron did this one. That's a quick one. That's this August the 16th. Okay, August <laughs> the 16th. Don't miss it. Y'all got to be there. Be there or be a square. That's it. I said it. Okay, I said it. Okay. Now, what I was saying, um, Geeking for Success, y'all already know I talk about this every week. Now, I was kind of explaining to her what they actually does. They sponsor Let's Do It Again Bang. Right? Now, we be asking for donations, which, you know, ain't y'all y'all out there tripping. But we asking for donations by selling the calendars for whatever reason any business company may need it. Mm -hmm. We can take this off the front and put whatever business you doing on the front. We can take whatever pictures or that you want on the inside the calendar. We can put your own stuff in there. And you can pass it out to your own employees, you know, to have to have their schedules and things like that. We, we're going to be doing a book drive, and we need funds to buy the book, the, uh, book bags for the kids. And Ward 7 and Ward 8 is what we're focusing on right now. So I'm, I'm saying this to you all, as I do every, every week, that if you own a business and you got love in your heart for the unfortunate, then get in contact with me. Look me up. Let's do it again, band, at gmail.com. Let me know you're interested in trying to help us help the community. These calendars only cost $10. Ten dollars. You can, you can, look, you can donate for five calendars. Mm -hmm. We'd rather for you to buy 100 calendars because then we can feed. Well, now I ain't going to say feed. Then we can buy a whole lot of book bags, pencils, papers, ink pens, magic markers, erasers mm -hmm. for a lot of more kids in these neighborhoods. But we're willing to take whatever you send. Once again, if you're interested in trying to help us out, then look me up on Let's Do It Again Band at gmail.com. Okay? Thank you very much. I ain't gone away. All right. Now, Mr. Cole, let's, let's talk about you a little bit. You say you're from Jamaica. I'm not from Jamaica. You're not ja See, See, like, Did I insult see, you? See, you're about to get beat up. <laughs> break, break. <laughs> no, I, me personally, I be, I be, I got so much crammed up in here, I be forgetting. So what, what? Okay, let's start over. Let's start over. Cause I ain't trying to be in no fight. I don't want no smoke. Where, you, where you say you from? Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, Trinidad and Tobago. Sound like a muffin, Tobago. Now, when you when you was there, how was it? Tell us about it, cause we 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 we, we want to know how the culture live. You know how y'all have fun. You know, do y'all cook? Can y'all cook? You know that we we want to know that the viewers want to know that. Um, I could cook. I don't know about anybody else. But okay. I could cook. So tell me some of your your, your favorite dishes. Um. <laughs> Jerk turkey wings. Can, can you speak up? Right. Because they don't even see her. They don't even see her, man. So they're probably trying to say, what? But we, but we want to hear from Mr. Cole because she's the one on Let's Do It Again Band the Show tonight. So now give me your list. Um, We, um... We cook like curry chicken, okay. curry goat. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to take them one at a time. Curry chicken. 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 Curry chicken.
curry chicken. What is the ingredients in cooking curry chicken? Um, well, we use like spices, like okay. um, oregano. You know, just to season up the meat. Mm -hmm. Oregano, um, parsley, um, onions. Did you just say parsley? Yes. Did y'all put marijuana in, in the food? Come on now, we don't put no marijuana. Oh, okay, in the food. parsley. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, we season up the food, okay. like different seasonings, and then we make our own um, green seasoning. Okay, how so you do we that? grind it. So we grind like the onions and the sweet peppers and the um, it's, it's, it's a whole lot, and okay. come green. Okay. okay, and we also make pep pepper sauce. Um, put it in our food. Okay, how long do you cook that after you make all these ingredients and put it in? Cook what? The curry chicken? Yeah. Well, the curry chicken, curry is a thing you have to cook it for a while because it do hurt your stomach. Okay. So you what have you to mean cook it. Hurts it. Your stomach? Meaning if you don't cook it right, yeah. it hurts your stomach. Oh, Lord, did y'all no, no, hear no, that? No, 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 no. I didn't mean like that. I mean, no, you have you said, to cook it right. But you're saying the truth. Right. If you don't cook it right, it will be effective. Yes. Right, okay. It do right. stain your clothes if you wear white. So if you wear white and you eat curry, it stains your clothes and it can't come out. Oh, wow. That's how y'all got dye and everything up in that joint. <laughs> huh? All right, give me something else. We got the curry chicken. Uh, we do curry goat. We do oxtails. Um, we do, um, we have like the aloe pie, the well, pilori. Oh, so, so then, the aloe pie. Yes. What is that? That's dessert? Aloe pie is like, um, it's something like a beef patty. But okay. the aloe pie, it makes with potatoes. So you like you mash the potato, you season it up. Mm -hmm. you, you need your own dough. Well, well I do. Mm -hmm. Need your own dough. After I finish it, mm -hmm. then I um, put the uh, um, the potato in the dough, dough. and I kind of smush it mm -hmm. and then fry it. So we have you like fry the, it. Yes. In grease. Yes. I'm trying to get that. You got the dough, and you put that. Mm -hmm. In the dough, make it like a pie, <laughs> and then fry it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the bottom is just crust, basically. It's like a bread, but with the potato in it. Or you could put ground beef in it. Anything you want in it, you could put in it. We're not eating beef. We're not eating, we're not, we're not eating sponsoring no beef on this show, okay? <laughs> Stay away from the beef and the pork. That's just good. Y'all remember when I had the young lady here that was into the fitness? She told y'all, watch what you eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now, what about, do y'all, like, do y'all own juices or something? Is it some type of juice? Um, we have, um, we have a drink that's called Punch and Crema. Punch? Punch and Crema. Punch it's and like crema. a, um, it's like a, um. Have any of y'all ever heard um, of Punch and Crema? If you heard of Punch and Crema, Give me a call right now, and you're going to get two free tickets. You're going to get two free tickets if you heard of it. Call in. I'm going to know if you're telling a lie now. <laughs> call in and let me know if you heard of that. Then you can call in to get two free tickets to the show if you're the second caller tonight. The number is 240-719-2560. 2-4-0-7-1-9-25-60. Give me a call. So how do they make that drink? Um, well I saw my mom make it. So it's made by condensed milk and um evaporated milk, liquor, a lot of oh, liquor. Oh, oh, slow down. <laughs> evaporated milk? Yes. Is, is it hot, warm, what? Um, when you say evaporated, that makes like it spoil your milk? No. No. Evaporated milk is the canned milk. Okay. And it got the condensed milk, so you got to What's add the your, condensed milk? Condensed milk is like a sweet milk. See, I'm, I'm late on the milk. I don't even drink milk. Like, the only time I had milk was like, not eat cereal. And I don't even eat cereal no more. So, you know, and they got this 2% milk now. and all, it, Soy milk. Would you use that in the, to make that drink? Uh, some people could, but the way how we make it, we make it rich. So, so the liquor, thick. yes. So oh, you, add you, ice. you keep so, trying to get that liquor joint in there. I see you keep saying the liquor joint. Yeah, Let me the get liquor, you get that uh -huh, in there. The liquor. What type of liquor you put in? Rum. There? Rum? Yes. Now, is this a sweet juice, though? Um, It's it's sweet, but you mix it with ice. It's really good. It's really good. 
Mm. Y'all it? heard that? We probably need that at the club. Oh, you be turned up. <laughs> <laughs> you think we can get you to make some of that for the club? Uh, we'll talk about it off the show. All right. <laughs> so y'all heard that, man. She got a whole menu going on about how to eat and, and be healthy. And matter of fact, let me ask you that. Is that healthy? These dishes you talking about? Uh, you don't eat too much of it. You just eat a portion. But it's really good. I mean, Have you ever heard about roti? What? Roti. It's a dough. Real it's a dough. Roti. R-O-T-I. Oh, no, and then we also heard. have a bus up shot. It eats with the road it eats with the curry chicken or the curry goat or curry shrimp with the curry potatoes, curry china, pumpkin. Man, y'all get hungry out there, ain't y'all? Because I know a lot of y'all out there eat that. I don't eat it. It's okay? good. I don't eat it. Because first of all, I don't like nothing spicy. Oh, it's spicy. I don't like nothing hot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But some people cook without spice, you know, all the spice. Anytime I ate any type of curry, anything, it was always hot. Even the mild, when they say this, oh, it's mild. No, well, my curry chicken, my curry, I don't make it hot because not everybody eats spice. Yeah, because, you know, that stuff be bad for your health when you get up to a certain age. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. and And I mean, you know, I'm trying to make sure. That I eat healthy because I want to be around a, a long time. You ain't going nowhere. You know, I want my next show, uh, not to be Let's Do It Again Band and Show, but my next show going to be Tomo as the Health Nut. Huh? What you think, Ron? Mm-hmm. You think I can pull that off? Yeah. I don't even know nothing about no bread and nothing, so I'm going to talk about <laughs> some food. But y'all already know, though, I got it down because I got a catering business. Huh? Okay? Huh? TSB. Catering and events. That's right. Don't forget about it. It will be coming here soon, real soon. And when when I bring it to the uh, forefront, there's another word I was looking for, but it didn't come out. Flat a uh, platform. When I bring it to the platform, then I'm gonna actually have it set up. I'm gonna have some food set up over here. So. That particular uh, segment, if you come through, you're going to be able to taste the food. I'm telling y'all. And I may let you know the date when, when I'm going to do it, and I may not. and may just announce it, just have you jumping in your cars trying to get over <laughs> here to the station. Because it's going to be good. You know what I mean? Now, Ms. Nicole, you got some shout-outs you want to do? Um, you know, some friends that you got out there that may be watching this or may go back later and look at it on YouTube, and they'll be like, girl, you ain't even say nothing about me. I'm telling you, that's how they be. <laughs> so give your shout out to people that you know that you be dealing with and talking to. Um, I want to give shout out to my kids. Okay. They first. Um, Cheyenne, Dante, Adora, and Adrian. Um, they're my babies. Okay. And I want to give a shout out to all my friends, Sean, Terry, and everybody else. That's it? What about the young lady sitting right there? What's her name again? Sean. Sean. Okay. All right. All right. She got a sidekick with her. Yeah, she's strapped. (laughs) She just went off about the food. (laughs) Now, let me, let me, let me ask. I want to ask everybody something out there that's watching the show because we can really come to a close. Appreciate you being back, Ron. You know, when you ain't here, man, it's, it's, it's like a piece of me missing. And that's only because we started it out together and we've been together. You know what I mean? And anytime you start to have to take a break or have to do something else, please let me know in advance before I can reschedule my show. Okay? Now, how how people don't want free stuff? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how you don't want free stuff. And then... And if you decided, oh, yeah, I'm going to go down there, you're going to have to pay when you had an opportunity to just make one phone call to get free tickets to get in there. Because at the door, it ain't going to be $10. If the ticket's $10, how you, what you expect it to be at the door? $10? It ain't going to work. So it's going to be high at the door. How high? I'm not going to tell you. But if you ain't dressed right, you ain't going to get in there anyway. <laughs> but I'm saying I'm with the free. I'm with the free. If I if I'm looking at something and they say, man, like when I be like ordering little stuff, and they be like, 
free. Oh man, I'm, I, but it don't even be free because now you got to pay for the shipping. <laughs> it done got sure. me for the two dollars. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I applied for it because it said free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all gotta wake up out there, man. Y'all gotta wake up. Y'all gotta understand. This platform, man, is to educate, teach, and help. Mm-hmm. That's what this is for. Mm-hmm. This ain't about me. This ain't about my man Ron. This ain't about Miss Nicole because she's here tonight. This is about us reaching out to our community and giving where it's needed. If your community want Geek for Success to come in that community and support them on any event that they may have, may have coming up, please contact me at let's do it again band at gmail.com. We're gonna come and support. We're gonna come out there, man. What we need to do, we're gonna do it. Because that's what we wanna do. That's what it's all about. This is a uh what you call it? Non. <laughs> you see, I'm hiding, right? Because I can't even get the rest of it out. We not we not raising money, man, for our pockets. Basically, what I'm saying. We not raising money. For... Did I drop the mic? Because that's probably why I keep hearing this bump going on. Yeah, Mr. Cole and knock my mic off. Oh, no, you he think they heard all that I said? Okay. No, he okay. wanted to blame me. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is the money is not going in, in, in our pockets. The money is going for a good cause. Now, I'm not going to compare y'all with the, the celebrity world. But in the celebrity world, man, they be giving donations, man. I'm talking about like for real. Mm-hmm. They be helping their city. They be helping their country. They be helping their states. And it's just something about Washington, D.C., man. We got to do that on the lower level. I ain't talking about on the high level. We know 95.3 and all them, they get out there and they do their little things. We know that. But we talking about this platform. Let's do it again, band, and show. Geeking for success. We the link. D.C. Empowerment. I'm talking about we we trying to give you jobs and all that out there, home. We trying to sign some of you artists that's like that. We trying to sign you. We ain't trying to beat you for your money. We trying to sign you and let you get your money. But if you don't take advantage of these opportunities, then guess what? You're going to be in the box. You're going to be in the box, man. Because we all need help to get where we're trying to go. You can't do it by yourself. All that, I don't need nobody to help me. It don't work like that. But I'm running out of time, so I got to go, man. I love you. Always and forever. I just had to throw that in there. But I'll see y'all next Wednesday, same time, 9.30. Don't forget, Geeking for Success, Let's Do It Again Band and Show, We The Link, DC Empowerment. We love you. Thanks a lot, Miss Nicole. You're welcome. For coming and sharing your information. And don't forget, y'all going to hear from them. Y'all going to see them. And I'll see you next time, from this time to the next time. Peace. We out of here. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Come on. I'd like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on. Wow. Let's do it again, band and show. <laughs>